visit us after 11. No chance. Now charge your brushes and draw your pencils. It's time for Art Attack. This is an Art Attack? This is an Art Attack? This is Art Attack! <laughs> an art attack for you that's a bit of a tongue twister. What do you get if you use three bottles of poster paint and a paper cone? A squirt and ring and run picture. What? I hear you cry. Come and have a look at this. You need a paper cone and you need three different coloured bottles of ready mix poster paint in these squidgy bottles. And then it's just a case of squirting a ring of paint and then squirting another ring of paint and then squirting another ring of paint and watching it run, run, run. Crazy, isn't it? A squirt and ring and run picture. Now, to make a squirt and ring and run picture, you need to make a paper cone. The best way to do this is to take a sheet of thin card, has to be at least A4 size, and then draw a big circle on it. And the best way of doing that is to draw around a plate. You could use compasses, a big set of compasses, and mark the middle point like that. You can measure it, do it more accurately than I am. And then draw a line from that midpoint to the outside of your circle, cut your circle out, and you'll have something that looks like that. And then just simply snip along this line. Now take some time to do this, do it very carefully, all the way to that middle point, right on there. And then fold this flap across the top like that, about a quarter of the way around, and tape it into position like that. And then flip it over and fold that flap down and tape that into position like that. And there you have your homemade paper cone. Then slip some scrap paper underneath it and just pop your paper cone on the top like that. And then get your paint and squirt a ring and then squirt another ring and then squirt another ring and look at that just watch it run 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 a squirt a ring and run picture and if you want to do another squirt a ring and run picture and really let fly take a paper cup and just punch a hole in the top of it with a styrene cup Use a pencil to do that and then get your finger in, squidge it round a bit, make a bigger hole, and then take another paper cone and just put it into position. Place your cup on top firmly and then squirt a ring inside the cup and then squirt another ring inside the cup, trapping the paint. And watch this. Squirt another ring inside the cup. And I'm ready for this. Let it fly. Woo! <laughs> and they're different every time. A squirt, a ring and run picture. Now, I suppose if you call those a squirt, a ring and run picture, then this is a splash, a ring and dash picture. Just splash a ring of paint. And then splash another ring of paint. And then splash another ring of paint. And watch it dash. Try it yourself. Even try saying it yourself. A squirt a ring and run picture. Hello. Yes, it's me, the head. Now, just make yourself a paper cone 
squirt a ring of paint on it, let it run, then leave it to dry before you hang it up. Now, what happens to a squirt a ring and run picture that you don't let dry before you hang it up? <laughs> this! Sad, isn't it?
a spectacular picture. But I've gone one better. I've made a picture out of soldiers. And here it is. <laughs> An army helicopter. <laughs> Do you have a bit of difficulty drawing people? What you need is one of these. It's called a mannequin. And look at this, it's got all these wooden parts of the body that you can move into any position to help you practice drawing people. Now, you can get these from art shops. The problem is, they can be a bit expensive. So why not make your own? All you need is a sheet of thin card. Now, you can use cereal box card. And the first thing you've got to do is draw all the parts of your mannequin's body. And it's not as hard as it sounds. All you need to remember is sausages and eggs. Don't worry, I haven't gone mad. Watch this. For the body, you need to draw two egg shapes. Now, they have to be roughly the same size, but they don't have to be neat. You can neaten them up a little later on when you're cutting them out. Then draw a smaller egg shape next to them, and that will be the head. And then you need a neck on there, roughly the same length as your head and the same width. And now, the sausages. These will be for the arms and legs and just draw eight sausages. And don't forget, sausages are thinner than eggs, but if you can, make them roughly the same size as your eggs. And again, I'm just doing it quickly here to show you. You can neaten it up and you cut them out. When you've done them, do four half-sized sausages for the hands and feet. And there they are. And then cut all the parts of your mannequin's body out, position them roughly into the position of your mannequin. Can be a little bit fiddly to do, so just bear with me there. And there you have all your mannequin bits. That's simply just a case of overlapping all the pieces and create your mannequin's body. Tuck the head in there, put the two bits for the body. And there's the arms, the hands on the end, and the legs there. Slip them, overlap them. And there, finally, are the feet. And then you've got to join all these bits together using some of these. These are split pins. I'm sure you've seen them. You can get them from stationery shops. They're very cheap. Or you might have some spare ones lying around in school. And the way to do this is to take one of the parts of the body that you want to put a pin in and just pierce with a sharp pencil a little hole as near to the edge as you can get and put some sticky tack underneath to save the furniture. And again, into the other bit you're going to stick it to. And then slip your split pin in through the hole on one and then through the hole on the other bit fiddly but then you open out the split pin at the back like that watch your fingers here there we are and you have a join that moves and when you've put the whole lot together you'll have something that looks like that <laughs> look at that your cardboard mannequin and then it's just a case of putting him into any position you like and you can copy him and practice drawing body shapes. Now, that's a mannequin from the front view. But what about a mannequin from the side view? Well, you can do that as well. In fact, the pieces are all identical, except that this time, instead of putting the arms on the side of the body, you put one on the front and one on the back, and then you pop your pin through the three of them, and then your leg on the front, and a leg on the back and again you pop your pin through the two legs and the body and there you have a front and side view and when that's done it looks something like this look at that and the great thing about these mannequins that you can't do with the wooden one is you can draw around them now if you take a pencil and just draw very roughly it doesn't have to be neat again around the body of your mannequin holding all the parts into the position. And let's just go all the way round. I'll do it quickly here to show you. And there it is, rough body shape in pencil. And then you can put the detail in a little later on in ink. And that's exactly what I've done here with these two pictures. Look at that. There's a skier. I did that in pencil first. And there is a dancer. Again, done in pencil and then inked over later. And of course, you rub out the pencil lines. Now, they really are worth doing, you know, because they do help you practice drawing body shapes. Try it yourself. A cardboard mannequin.
Now, that's what I call useful. And it's just ordinary cardboard and split pins from the stationery shop. It's all based on two big eggs, one little egg, eight sausages, and four little sausages. Hey, I've done one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Only I didn't have any cardboard! <laughs> Ooh. Hello, my name's Samantha. I had an art attack with a wax crayon and a matchstick. Hello, my name is Gemma. I made my picture by covering the piece of orange paper thickly in black wax crayon. Then I scraped my design. My picture is of Daphne the Goddess. Hello, my name's Brennan. First of all, I took an orange crown and drew my background. Then I took a black crown and drew my men. Finally, taking a matchstick, I scraped in my details. Ah, yes. Great pictures, great technique. An old favourite of mine, that. Wax scraping. And very easy to do. Just take a sheet of white paper and cover it in a layer of coloured wax and just scribble on the wax, and when you've completely covered it, go over it in a layer of black wax. And you have to make your black wax very thick. And when you've done the whole thing, you'll have something that looks like that. Well, it doesn't look like anything, really, because it's just black wax. And then you can draw into it, or should I say scrape into it, using something with a pointy tip. Now, you can use an old pen or a pencil, or you can even do what I'm doing and use a cocktail stick. It's just a case of scraping like this into the wax, and as you're scraping, the colour underneath shines through and creates your picture. And there it is, a very simple picture. Look at that. A wax scraping. Good technique, that. And look what I've discovered. If you cover your paper in a multicoloured layer of wax, instead of putting black wax on top of it, why not mix some black poster paint with an equal amount of washing up liquid? Now, watch this. If I just mix it all together and then slop it on top of the multicoloured layer of wax, just do it very quickly to show you, you can cover the whole of your paper, then leave it to dry, and when it's dry, you've got something that looks like that. And you see what's happened here? The paint has gone hard when it's dry and it's left a chalk-like surface, which is perfect for scraping into. And again, you just use the same technique. Find something with a point and look at that. The colours come flying through. And I'll tell you what's really good about this technique is once you've done your picture, you can just go over the same piece of paper again with your paint and your washing up liquid mixture and when it's dry, you can do another picture on the same piece of paper. So how's that? Loads of pictures on one piece of paper. And again, I'm just using the same technique, scraping in very lightly. It's a nice surface to work on this. It's a bit like <laughs> scratching into a blackboard. We all know what that sounds like. And just watch this. If I put the moon up there, and then I get a blunter implement, something like a spoon, I can do wider scrapes there. Look at that. Loads of it's coming off now. And again, I'll just pick out the finer points with me pointy tip, like that. And then just a bit of reflection down here in the water. Blow the whole thing off. <coughs> and there it is. Another wax scraping. Great technique. Try it yourself. Very easy to do. Wax scraping. And I'll see you next time. ta -ra. The clock says half past three. Half past three. The 
it's the time for you to see CITV. There's only one place to be, watching all your friends on CITV. So see CITV and see the fun that never ends. CITV.